Hey, Alex here, and today we're gonna to ride on the General Van Fleet Trail. So the General Van Fleet State Trail is a trail that was built on top of a railroad. And the interesting part of this trail is that it's totally flat and straight. It's a straight line that you can ride from Mabel all the way down to Polk City. This trail crosses through three counties, Lake County, Orange County, and Polk County. I did this trail a while ago, but I'm doing an updated version to add to the menu of bike trails to ride relatively close to Orlando. I don't know why I always start with the windbreaker and I can't endure the first three minutes of the ride. Chill and you won't need it anymore, especially in Florida. But I always do this. Joining me today is Filippi. Yeehaw! Yoo -hoo! So we're gonna do 60 miles. The nice thing of this trail is that you can ride in a straight line for 29 miles non-stop. It can be pretty boring, but if you encounter some alligators, snakes, and turtles, it can become an exciting adventure. Because this trail goes right through a swamp, a preserve, so you can spot a lot of wildlife. Hey there. About 10 miles in, uh, we are at the first trailhead after Mabel. This is Bay Lake. So this is one of the trailheads. You see there's not much here. There's just a little restroom, a little picnic area. Uh, that's, that's about it. And that's an important thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to bring a lot of food if you're doing like 60 miles. That's a lot of uh, time riding. So make sure to bring some snacks, some fruit, some energy bars and water. You do have some water fountains. Uh, but make sure to keep hydrated and bring a lot of food because there's nothing around here There's no gas station. We're gonna check in Polk City if Polk City when we get there if there's any stops close by Okay, so let me give you a little bit more information. So on this stretch, there are four trailheads. Mabel, where we started north, is closer to Claremont. And then we stop, stopped at Bay Lake. And then this is Green Pond uh, Trailhead, another little restroom, fountain. Uh, you can park your car, it's free parking. I think the park uh, opens at 8 a.m. If, if I'm not wrong. And Green Pond is the closest trailhead if you're staying in Devonport, uh, Kissimmee Champions Gate. So a lot of people that are staying in vacations home over there and they ask me uh, trails, nice trail to ride would be the Van Fleet and the closest trailhead depending where you're staying would be the Green Pond. You would still have to drive about 30 minutes. Uh, you can ride to here but it goes through some busy roads. The next stop south from here is about 10 miles and that's Polk City. I've actually never been to that trailhead so let's check it out. And just correcting one thing, this trail does not go through Orange County, it goes through Sumter County. So here we are at the Polk City Trailhead. Same thing, a lot of places to park your car, a restroom. You can continue to go south and there are a few more things that you can uh, check out. We saw that there's a gas station over there. We're gonna do a little stop so we can uh, 
refill our water bottles, and then head back to Mabel. Right, caffeinated. Here we are at the trailhead Polk City. This is right at the start of it. And we're gonna go all the way straight north, 29 miles, going straight without stopping until Mabel. Also, the wind here doesn't have much of an effect because for the most part of the trail, you have trees on both sides protecting you from the wind. So all right, let's hit it. Here we go. Whee! Van Fleet done, 60 miles, great place to ride at a steady pace if you wanna do endurance, sweet spot, or, e or even interval training. It's just a great place to ride. Beautiful, you can see nature, it's quiet, no cars, and super fun place to ride. So this would be my maybe second or third choice. If I was visiting Orlando, I would first ride on the Western Trail, then maybe uh, the Cross Seminole, and then thirdly, this trail. So there are great trails around here to ride, and the Van Fleet is definitely one. If you haven't ridden here, you should definitely check it out. So that's it for today. One more trail to add to the list of trails to ride in Central Florida. Hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I'll see you on our next ride experience. Ciao.